Hi there guys, uh, just before we start Monday's episode, I just wanted to say, hey, 100 episodes! 100 episodes! Hey. And possibly 500 subscribers. Possibly, so thank you to everyone who's been watching, commenting, all that. We do the show because you guys are awesome and we love the interaction with you, so. But seriously, like, the amount of comments we get to view ratio, I'm so impressed by. Yeah. I love getting in the comments and talking to you, like. Yeah, great discussions. Not that I join in, this but, is, you know, I this like is, watching. This has been fantastic so far and it's only because of you and we just want to say cheers. Here's to 100 more. <laughs> we have out of continuity Superman stories and the adventures of Superman number one. We have a brand new indie title from Scott Snyder with The Wake number one. And if there's one thing I know about comics, it's that there can never be enough X-Men books. We have a new one with X-Men number one. So we talked very briefly about, um, well, no, we didn't. We, talk, we gave a good amount of time to yeah, the very first about. story in uh, Adventures of Superman. Yep. But they, I mean, they've turned this around and put it into single issue quite quickly. Um, we have three stories in here. So we have the Chris Samney. Yeah, that we uh, both loved. Parker one. We have uh, Jeff Lemire doing one. And also Riley Rosmo. And I forget who writes that story. Uh, Jordan. Come on, Jordan. I'll tell you in a second. Da, 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 da. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. Um. So. Just keep yeah. Talking. Okay. Right. Good. So we're talking about this book today. We're talking about. Well, we're gonna focus on the latter two stories. I think. Uh, if you wanna check Justin out Justin Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. Um. If you wanna check out our review of the Chris Samney one and Jeff Parker, then there'll be a link somewhere. Yeah. So what did you think of this book? Um. I absolutely love this book. Um, much in the same vein that I loved uh, Legends of the Dark Knight. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really a fan of these out of continuity, just a little slice of that character's story and told from multiple different perspectives. I mean, the the Chris Parker and uh, the Parker and Samnine one. Jeff Parker, Chris Jeff Samnine. Parker, Chris Samnine one couldn't be any different from the Jeff Lemire one. Yeah, and that couldn't be more different from the Riley Mossmo and Jordan one in the back. Like, they're all so different, and yet they're all so fantastic in their own ways. Um, I have to say, out of all of them, Riley Rossmos is probably my favourite. Okay. Uh, he is really quickly becoming one of my favourite new artists. Like, his work on Bedlam, we talked about, and we said it was absolutely fantastic. His work in this book is superb. Like, the way he draws Bizarro is just amazing. And the way he draws the kid. Yeah. Yeah, with like the little round head and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I remember. He's got a round head. Um, yeah, it looks almost like a ventriloquist puppet, but like the big grin and yeah, yeah it's 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 really great. And the Jeff Lemire one is just so touching, that story. Um, so yeah, I think this is another fantastic uh, book. And if you do want uh, kind of a fix of Superman before Man of Steel comes out, I think Adventure of Superman is going to be a great one to jump onto. Yeah, especially if you're missing the red trunks. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I'm such a fan of these small, out of continuity stories yep. because you know this book hopefully will run for a really long time and you'll have some misses. But unlike oh, yeah. unlike a single issue where you wait a month, you get the you get the issue and it's a miss and you have to wait the next month. Mm. You know you can have two hits and a miss in one issue, so you can still feel yeah. like you've could got Could have something. three misses, that's always the worst. <laughs> you could have three misses, that's, you know, it's like, oh, it's oh, the pro oh. You, could, you could be, oh, I've been failed, I've been failed, I've been failed three times, and that was, uh, that would be three times as worse as, as, an, as a normal issue. Skip to the end. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, the Jeff Lemire story is wonderful. Yeah. It is so fantastic, that story. It's so different. Yeah. People, I've spoken to people who really don't like Jeff Lemire's art, which is understandable. It's very peculiar. And I couldn't it read is, a whole Superman book like that. It is peculiar. There's something about it that feels nostalgic to me, though. And that really suited this story. It's sort of scratchy yeah. and... I don't know what it is. I can't exactly I can't exactly put my finger on it. But I think out of the three, that would definitely be, be my favorite story. Yeah. It, they did some really nice things with the panels. I'm buying, I'm buying these as they, they come out on um, Comicology. Comicology. And I'm having, you know, I love it going on, and there'll be some more, and and yeah. um, and they're they're literally the only books I buy digitally. 
Yeah. And I, I'm excited to buy them. The price point is just on. It's on point. So, yeah, I had a great time with this, and I definitely recommend it. Brilliant. Cool. Right. Uh, so the next book we have to talk about is the new one from Scott Snyder. Yeah. Uh, obviously of Batman fame, American Vampire. He's done all sorts. He's uh, one of our favorite writers. Mm. And yeah, this is new book with Vertigo, which I don't think we've... Have we read a Vertigo book on the show I'm before? I'm sure we have, yeah. I can only assume we have, uh, but it's been a while either way. Um, yeah, this is the story of a... Uh, a kind of marine expert. She's called in by... Oh, read Lobster Johnson last week. That's no, that was go, Dark Horse. Dark Horse. Yeah. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I'm doing an explanation and you just cut me off Sorry. like that. Sorry. Professionalism. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a story of this uh, marine biologist. She gets pulled in by the army to come and look at something that they've got going on, which you find out at the end of the issue what that's about. Um, and we're also kind of flashbacking and flash forwarding between like 2,000 years in the future and 10,000 years in the past. So, a lot of mystery, a lot of intrigue in this book. Dan, what did you think of the wake? Um, I think it's hard to say. I think it's very hard to say at this point. It's it's going to be a slow burn. I think that's that's ten obvious. issues maxi series. Right, but I think before we get into it, a lot like um, what was it? Uh, Spaceman Azarello. Yeah. You know, that's sort of like, first couple of issues is purely world building. Yeah. Purely, this is the world we've created, you know. And you know what? This I really, this is why I love Brian K. Vaughan, because he seems to do both. He seems that, you know, yeah. his worlds are crazy, and yet we seem to get so much plot in his first issues that yeah. I don't feel is too present here. Um, there's a thing that happens on the second page where there's this glider, and it just... It, it's it's a very small thing, but it just feels like a very elegant use of art. Like it, the the art, it gave me confidence in the art after that moment. It's yeah. sort of really nice and flowing the way that happens. Uh, there's a lot of double parade spreads in this, which are quite interesting. A lot of the story is told that way through these big yeah, it's, things, yeah. almost um, sort of separated into scenes and like filmic in that way. But in terms of the plot itself and the book, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Not much of great interest or import happens. There's a reveal at the end, but it's not a great reveal. It's just sort of, here's something that you don't know rather than yeah. here's something else to know that you could find interesting. So hard to say. Having said that, the artwork is very nice. Yep. I have faith in Scott Snyder. Yep. Um, enough so that I will buy and try for a good amount of time, whatever he puts out. Yeah, I mean, I, I completely agree. I... The hook didn't necessarily get me, but with Scott Snyder writing it, like I thought his characters were really good in this issue. Um, you know, he sets them up really nicely. He's just such a great writer, so I'm I am excited to see where he goes with this. And I know, you know, coming off of Night of Owls and Death of the Family, you know, I know he can do great long story arcs. So I'm sure this is going to be fantastic. Um, and yeah, the artwork, I, I agree, is really nice in this book. Um, it's a great sense of motion. Yeah. It's what I found. Like the, Especially with those double plate spreads as well, and the small, and the mixture of panel yeah. sizes, and the way the way that flows. It's really nice. Yeah, no, I completely agree. So yeah, I, I think it's definitely worth picking up. Um, it didn't blow me away. Like it, I, I definitely thought there were there were issues with pacing and, and that kind of thing, mm. and the, the Flicking between the two, but I, uh, yeah, I, I do think it is worth picking up because I'm sure this is going to turn out to be one of those kind of great Vertigo stories uh, that come out this year. Okay. Uh, so the final book we're talking about is the new X Men title. There are a lot of X Men books yeah. out at the moment. I'm buying them all except for Legacy. I'm buying them all apart from Legacy. Um, and this one follows the female members of the X Men. It's who... called X Men, but there are no men in it. Look what at that. is that about? Look at that. Look at the way that works. That's crazy. But I, I'm not mistaken. Most of these characters, apart from maybe Jubilee, I might be wrong, are leads in, well, sort of leads in their own books. Like Kate Pride, Wolverine, the X-Men, Storm and Psylocke, Uncanny X-Force, uh, Uncanny, Uncanny Avengers. Avengers for Rogue. Yeah. So, you know, they're all doing well anyway. It's not like these are forgotten characters and they're going to be put together in this team uh, it's, you know, the new self-titled X-Men book. Yep. How did you feel about this? Um, now, unlike yourself, I'm not actually picking up 
any of the X Men titles. Boo in, you, sir! In singles. Okay. I'm 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 gonna be getting the trades of quite a few, you know. Uh, I I reviewed uh, all new X Men with Ellie when he was on the show, uh, and that's something I still intend to pick up when it comes out in uh, trade paper. Wait, well, it is out in trade paperback. I'm gonna pick it up. Second something. one's out now. Second volume just came out. Yeah, there's they're getting those out quick. Um, so yeah, no, I, there, there are there have been some really good X Men titles, and I think this is one of them. Um, I, after reading the first couple of pages where it's like, you know, there were two cells and one of them became superior and all, I was like, oh god, this is going to be a proper girl power book and I'm going to hate it because it's going to be all man-hating. And it's not at all. Like, it, it, the way this team comes together is so natural. It isn't like... Uh, should we call Wolverine? Oh, I don't really want. Yeah, to it's not he's a girls man. sitting in a room going, "Let's let's do something together." Yeah, it's it's just like, oh, Jubilee's on her way. Oh, she's being. We should probably go and help her out. Who's available? Uh, Kitty Pride and Storm. Cool. Let's all go. Um, yeah. So it, it doesn't feel contrived in that way. Like we are forcing a female X Men group on you. It just kind of works. Um, it's really great to see some of these characters. It's great to see Jubilee again. I've not seen her in a book in. Years of my strongest memories are from the uh, the animated series. Well, so. She was basically the lead in that culture. Yeah. Uh, so it was. It's great to see her in a book again. Uh, the ending was, you know, it, it had enough of a grip there for me. Character interactions really good. The artwork's really good. This is just a really good book all round. Um, I think this has been a really solid week in comics uh, for myself. And yeah, this book was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, no, I, I, God, I just love the X Men. I love the X Men. <laughs> Do you know what I love most about the X Men? And it's, it's the interaction. Yeah. It's just these are my, these are my people, and they just, I just love it when they're talking to I'm each other. I'm down with the X Men. I just love it when they're talking to each other, and there's so much history there, and especially we've been reading the X Men for a long time, and they're just in the school, and they're having a chat, and they're having a I just love that stuff. Like, it makes me so excited. And Jubilee, you're right. It's so nice to see her again. I love Jubilee. Yeah. And talking about that X-Men cartoon, like, she was the main character in that cartoon. She was yeah. our in. Like, we, you know, she's the first person you see in it. Yeah. You sort of follow her throughout. It's really nice to see her again. I, I love the inter I love these characters so much. And Brian Wood writes the dialogue really, really well. And, you know, just seeing them talk to me. I just, like, what I really hope this book is, is just 90% downtime. Just sit, just sit chilling out. I, have, I mean, and then just ten percent. Occasionally, we'll go and fight someone. Like that would that would probably be a book. Should they just release a book called X Men Coffee Break? X Men, which is just like the between yeah. periods yeah. where they just go and chill out. Yeah, the because that's room, my like, favorite part of oh, any X Men book. Exactly, me exactly that. Like, and there's some of that in this book, and just like <laughs> go to go to. That's why I love the Jean Grey School pile learning. That's why I love the original Xavier School. But like, yeah, no. They, I mean, no one else would buy it apart from me, probably. <laughs> yeah. But um, but I would just I would just love the copy breaks in between I, I love that stuff I just love them talking to each other I love these Marvel characters. if you're listening X-Men copy breaks if you happen. like the X-Men you will like this almost certainly indeed uh, so that's all we have for you today uh, don't forget you can follow us on Twitter at Comic Book Show 1 you can and don't forget to join us on Wednesday where we will be talking about some more of the greatest Superman graphic novels ever written Yep, and uh, on Friday, we are going to be doing our best of the month of May. We will see you. Then. Da, 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 da.